Serda. Uh, në temën e përmueshme të Creative Mornings, uh, kësara dhe flasim për silence. Uh, Falem dhejt shumë sonidus, përftesëm, edhe stafit të Creative Mornings në Shqipëri. Uh, është të qundiqme për flasë në Shqipë, sepse në fakt prezentimin e kam bërë në anglisht edhe <laughs> ashtu kam dërmën të vazhdojmë. Uh, por fillimi në këti sesioni do doja që ta bënim së bashku uh, të juftoja në disa minuta heshtje uh, për të përshëndetur edhe për të ftuar një etetin të qëndrojmë pak brënda nesh edhe më vonë të shkojmë uh, në për disa hapsira të cilat unë do të mundohem uh, t'i shpjegoj uh, edhe pse heshtja është një dimension që nuk shpjegojt me fjallë. Kështu që do t'i ftoja t'i gjithve të mbyllnit një moment sy. dhe në heshti të përshëndesim këtë dit të mbarë në cilën ne jemi bërë bashkë në këtë hapsirë. Come to the orchard in spring. There is light and wine and sweethearts in the pomegranate flowers. If you do not come, these do not matter. If you do come, these do not matter. I wondered that if I am to break the silence, it would be with words of love. This is what Rumi wrote 800 years ago in Persia. One can never speak about silence. One can always silence about silence. Thank you for being here and thank you for coming here today uh, for me and uh, for yourselves. 
It's a lovely morning. Um, over the last day, I was wondering how to approach silence. How do I make you enjoy this time? At first, I was really excited, and then I got tense, as I remembered <laughs> once when I was 12. I was in front of an audience just like this, and was supposed to recite a poem. I got stuck in silence. I couldn't utter a single word. I was humiliated as my friends started laughing. So I said to myself, you're nervous. Let's go back to the beginning, to our interrupted relationship with silence. When we are children, the main concern of parents is to know whether everything is well with their children's development. Can they speak at the right time? Can they hear their surroundings? Can they react to stimuli? In other words, the moment we are born, the attention of consciousness is in the perceiving of dynamics, the movement, the sound, but never the natural basis of our state. Silence. I have never heard some, somebody um, being concerned whether their child perceives silence within them. The first sounds that I heard and visuals were tall oak trees and the sun going between them. I remember being so fascinated with the world and having the inability to express anything. Also because at the time I could only feel, I couldn't say anything. Slowly, a child is obliged to respond to an uh, environment and start to communicate. It's created thus an, ident uh, an identity. Out of nothingness, a form is being shaped. Dorela, a two-year-old Albanian girl, daughter of two parents from Girocaster. She has a grandmother, she has a favorite toy. And so starts the system of preference and choice. Children start to create their identity, which is based on expression of will. And so we go by and we learn emotions. Fear, joy, pain, affection, love. We go to school, we learn foreign languages, we go to university, we study for a degree, and we love to add professional achievements to ourselves. We then identify as Dorela, the human rights activist, Dorela, the girl who works for, so, for a certain organization. The fundamental question that I want to pose today is who are we without silence? If we listen to our story and surroundings, we live life from a perspective of a person. This premises, however, shows a bigger problematic regarding our separation from silence. If, for example, the circumstances we were raised were fortunate, this decides our outlook on life. If we are born part of an unfortunate dynamic, the person is likely to experience life with the same weight. All of this creates a consequence of our persistence to ignore silence. I think that out of every expression or experience, silence is the greatest healer, the greatest gift, the greatest teacher. If we decide to leave our minds for days in silence, depending on your connection to it, we can either have the worst or the best experience. When the body ta talks to us, it's always from silence. Silence is that space that is untouched by the mind or words. That space in which creation and transformation occur. Endless, everlasting, all revealing, shall we be courageous to reconciliate with our natural state. However, not always silence impacts for good. Perhaps one of the most devastating wounds of communist Albania has been the oppression of freedom of speech. Many intellectuals were jailed or executed just because they wanted to express their ideas or the way they perceived their contribution in society. This is not natural as it blocks the natural rhythm of thought, expression and bottles up necessary human dynamics. So true is this that after 1991, Albania suffered political, social, economical 
and architectural chaos. If you ask me, silence is not to be messed with institutionally. I have always had the gift to express myself in the most detailed of ways sometimes. But silence is that dimension that it's, it comes from before thought and therefore it made me uncomfortable. I was trying to explain with words or feelings something that it's already there and it's untouched by these concepts. And together here today, we are blessed enough to experience a meeting that would hopefully be free of thoughts. When I was in university, our teacher explained silence with, uh, um, uh, for us very simply. Um, silence, she said, is interpreted as a silent acceptance. In other words, if asked, the plaintiff or part in the contract remains silent, the law assumes that he or she has expressed their will. So legally speaking, silence is assuming as a yes. Silence is also, however, a no. Whenever we are asked on something that we feel responsible of, like eating Christmas leftovers or cheating on someone's faith, we can't put ourselves to acknowledge the consequences of our behavior. So we just remain silent. Because silence is the moment that enables us to connect with our hearts and the ability to feel true emotion is the moment we connect with our true nature on what is rich, abundant, nurturing, life-giving, silence. Sound that comes always after silence. Enjoy. One August afternoon, when I was a child, the wind blows through the oak trees and waves their branches in holy peace. And the sun had scorched the grass. There was always endless peace and silence. Sometimes also darkness and ugliness but I watched them all in holy silence.